Hi, right, so we are here at Mobile World Congress, and I'm right now with Mark Ruan, the Chief Network Officer for Dish Wireless. So Mark, thanks a lot, really appreciate you taking time and joining us here at uh, Dell Technologies. Well, thanks for your, your support over the last 18 months. You know, that's a journey we've started together and uh, it's moving forward. Absolutely. So Mark, what would you say um, from Dish network perspective, what is the, how unique is that compared to the existing communication service providers network? You know, I have heard a lot of feedback that it's easy for us because we're greenfield. So we're starting uh, from scratch and of course uh, we, we are cloud native from, uh, from the radio all the way and you know we've put uh, Kubernetes on top of our servers and uh, at the bottom of the tower and it's, it's all cloud native Kubernetes microservice and it's a luxury, nobody has been able to do that because they have existing install base but Everybody's looking at it like, wow, that's cool. We wish we could do that from a technology point of view. Absolutely. So Mark, what would you say the top three unique value proposition of Dish Wireless Network would be to us an enterprise customer? Yeah, so the, the first one uh, is uh, it's 5G standalone. So when it is 5G standalone, you can expose your services. Um, it's a bit of a jargon, but it's called a, a service-based architecture, and which means that everything is a microservice, you can put APIs, you can expose it. Uh, so that's a big thing, because they can consume a policy manager, a subscription manager, they can uh, even onboard the software on their premise, so they can, they can shape it the way they want. The second thing is that uh, we're lucky to have been able to design a, a observable network so we see a lot of things, you know, we see the behavior of uh, the chipsets, of the, of the different links that we have in the network, of the compute, the memory and everything, and we see the traffic uh, behavior, we can shape it. Um, a lot of the data is encrypted and protected uh, for privacy reasons, but we can expose the behaviors. And people, um, enterprises want to know, you know, is my truck connected, is my uh, sensor connected? So the consumption of data is bringing a lot of uh, opportunities for them to extract value and services. And the last thing, maybe the most important, you know, I like to talk about networks of networks. Yep. Uh, we can uh, allow them to build their own network. Uh, I mean, really building it, consuming it the way they want. It, it's not our network anymore, it's theirs. Uh, we call it slices. I mean, there are a lot of uh, technical uh, things behind that, but uh, they have been asking for that because they think they can, a lot of enterprise think they can differentiate uh, out of connectivity and, uh, and the data that comes from it. So you're really actually empowering enterprises to build their own network the way they want and the way they want to consume. Yeah, so. and, and connect their sensors, their yeah. device, their data, their, I mean, their, their factories, their robots. I mean, what do we know about that? Nothing, you know. Think about healthcare. They, all the, the zillion of things they have to connect in a hospital, I mean, we, we, are, we don't understand that. But So they need to shape the network and then they will decide where and how do they move the data, what stays on premise, what is, uh, needs to be secured, encrypted, what needs to be uh, shrunk, I mean, it's consumed. Yep. It's, uh, yeah, it's unlimited for them. That's really exciting. What would you say, um, from Dish perspective, what kind of a partner role Dell is playing in the vision what Dish Wireless has? Yeah, so we knew we would be a, a cloud company or a software company, so we wanted a partner that was, uh, you know, very strong in that domain of uh, compute and software and storage and uh, and uh, you know all the enablement of the of the technology. We also wanted a partner that was very strong in the enterprise ecosystem because you know bringing uh, the use cases, but also tailoring the networks of networks for for ourselves. Um, and uh, and we've been. Uh, surprised or happy to see how much Dell has been investing uh, in the last two years around our ourselves and you know having uh, open run capabilities now having uh, labs uh, I don't want to build our own labs I want distributed labs as you know in uh, so you guys are building labs for interoperability and testing uh, with Intel VMware Nvidia I mean like you know and many others and uh, and we're like wow that's exactly what we wanted and at the end of the day the cloud is not the edge uh, there are different domains. The edge is the world of diversity. It's the world of listening to enterprises. And, and if you look at the past, uh, what Michael Dell did at the beginning, you know, that was build your desktop on demand. Um, and actually that's the edge on demand. And we thought that the DNA you had would fit the diversity and the on-demand requirements of the edge. And 
I think we were right, you're doing it. So we're pretty pleased about that. Thanks a lot, Mar, appreciate it. And finally, the last question, what do you see things to come look for in future from Dish Wireless perspective? Yeah, so the big thing for me for the next uh, 18 months, two years, is uh, now that we have data, is to consume the data, to do uh, self-healing, learning, automation. I mean, there are a lot of things to do so, because the volume of data slices we have is beyond human capabilities and the speed at which we need to manipulate it is, is very uh, important. So data, automation. Uh, and on top of that, it's the marketplace. Uh, you know, we need to, to create like successful uh, over the top and uh, hyperscaler. We need to, to create an ecosystem for developers, for apps uh, that are friendly uh, for developers to create there and consume their resources. Uh, so that's the next big thing.